Hey guys, today is going to be another great day because you guys recommended to me a great song which I actually neglected for a little bit of time but today is the day where we're going to be looking at it and as you can see by the title that's going to be EXO with Coco Bob. And guys, for the people who are new to watching my channel, please leave in the comments below what you guys want me to review in the near future. This could be a song directly from your home country, it could be another K-pop song, it could be any type of music videos because I am really interested to how videos are made rather than focusing on the song itself. Though I think the song is going to be always an important element to how a video should be executed. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into EXO which is actually a really good music group and Coco Bob. Oh, really nice colors. And as weird as it sounds, the colors really fit the beat. And like I said, I know the song already, but this is the colors that I would have chosen as well. These really beautiful, vibrant colors. And what they did as well, what I think is great is they didn't make this video too warm so far from what I see from the, the colors from the video, but it looks beautiful. I love these neon colors, this candy color. Really beautiful to look at. And again, I like also the way the colors keep on repeating. For example, this is candy apple or apple red. I don't know how you like to call it. I know that some people like to call it different, but the colors repeat on the car, on the shirts, on the shirts, on the glasses, on the background, the shirt, and it just continues. And I think this is so important when you make a music video or any type of video that you stay consistent with the colors. And I hope they do this in an entire video as well. Ooh, very interesting. Do you guys see that they did here? They slowly cut out from the filter and back into the filter. I think this is a great way of using filters. I think a lot of people tend to use filters and just keep it on top of it. But here it kind of makes the filter less important. It's more like to say, hey, we added a filter, but we're still going to play with it. We're still going to make our own unique thing out of it by cutting in and out, out of the filter. It's something small, but it adds something to the video. I love the colors. The colors are really just amazing. Whoa, what was that? Are those cars all real? I'm curious how they did this, but what they could have done here, because I, I can see it, this is most likely a 3D model, because if you're interested, if you lift up a car like this, what basically will happen is that the wheels would sack down normally because of the suspension, but this basically shows that the car itself and what else flies and this part are basically 3d models they're 3d models rendered inside of a video super cool super complex i don't even know maybe they used a real car as reference and they just added this in a post but they did a really good job with it anyway also the editing is very on beat it's very clean so far oh yeah the choreography Again, playing with the filters. Let's see what they do with the drop. Before I even go with the drop, I just want to say this is exactly how I would edit a video. For the people who watched my videos in the past, I always edit on beat. I think the music, the musical notes, the snares, the drums, the bass, whatever you want to go on of, you can use any of those moments to basically cut your videos and they do a fantastic job here. It's very snappy, but that's the way I like it. I think this is really, really, really good. Oh, I love the camera angles as well. I always say this as well in most videos. If you got like someone looking with the camera and being part of the camera and trying to move with the group instead of just being stationary, it makes the video so much more dynamic. And here the focus is on the entire group, which I think is so important when you're doing filming with entire groups, or in this case, the EXO group. It needs to be a group work and not just one element that is always filmed. Wait, how did they do that? Let's let's analyze this together. I wonder what they did. Sorry for that. I'm I'm just gonna skip through it, but did they they did a fantastic job there though. Like this looks super clean. I'm curious if if he really jumps I think the water is fake and he's just jumping into an element and they masked it out in the bottom. So these are basically two scenes glued on top of each other. But they did a fantastic job. It sells and it looks good. What else can I say? It doesn't have to always look super, super, super real or have to be real. But they did a close and good job here. 
Nice cuts. Wow, that was really cool. Using this entire path upwards for the next scene to make it, you know, comparable with again these straight lines. Really, really, really cool. This is what you call a close eye on attention. Beautiful. Also, I love how all the information is in the middle. Everything is easy to follow. My eyes don't have to go left, right, up and down. Everything is nicely centered and very simple to follow. This, I think, is a very important key to making a good video itself as well. Again, centered, awesome. And you can kind of see it with everything that's happening. Everything is in the middle. And I think this makes a video so much easier to follow because my eyes don't have to go left and right like I already just mentioned. A lot of beauty shots. But they add also a little story to the entire video, which I think is always important. Okay, this doesn't look too good with the burgers, but... It kind of fits the entire aesthetic of the entire video as well, you know, that it's a bit of a cartoony situation. Very nice editing. By the way, I like what they did there, actually. Do you see how they all of a sudden... They zoom into this area. Again, it's not like I like to do is I like to kind of black out and give the mind a little bit of time to think. Here we have nothing to focus on. As you can see, the lights are not even focused, but it just gives the mind a little bit of rest to think about, okay, what's going to happen next? I really, really like this. And this is different. I've never used this technique. I like to just black out and just pause for like even a millisecond or two milliseconds. But this is fantastic as well. This is a very clever way to just zoom into something that's not that important, but it's nice. But it's also cool how they kept the colors into the color palette with the green, yellow, and red. Really nice. Also fits the exo colors now with the blue and the red, which are always repeating colors, and I'm happy that I keep on doing this. Very nice shots. Very creative, just. Wasn't this a, uh, a trend once on, what was it called, Vine? Wasn't that something that people used to do? They jump out of the cars and started dancing with the cars and half of the people crashed their cars because of this. Really stupid. I'm happy that this was all in studio work and most likely all controlled. This could also be that the car is being pulled, of course, by another car. We don't know what's happening there, but I'm happy this is all done in a closed down scenario. Don't endanger people when driving people. Super cool. Wow. That is super nicely done. Like whether you want to make it look real or not, again, it's all just about the execution and whoever did the 3D work here in opening up their world in this candy fantasy world, I don't know how, what they were going for here. It is so cool. It is amazing just to look at this. I love when creators go out of their mind to kind of think, how can we make this reality? How can we put this into video? And so far, everything here just matches beautifully with the video. A lot of beauty shots just, but that's totally fine. It's also a lot of choreography. And the lip sync is also so far from what I noticed, just spot on. Really, really nice. Wait, what? I just want to see if they did a correlation there. That is like a small little detail, which is super cool. You know, they thought of it like, hey, let's have two wires here connected to electricity. And by doing that, we kind of break away reality with the burgers. I don't know what the real thing is here, but I like the correlation between the extra member with the cables and what we see here done in CGI. Super nice. Super nice so far. By the way, this is also something I want to say with NCT. What's that song called? I can't think of it right now. But where they used the purple bars, I said this really was disgusting. And I like what they did here with the white cinema bars. It's just a little bit uplifting and it doesn't really annoy me with the entire song itself. I think it's totally fine and I think it's totally acceptable right now what I see here. And I like white or black, but don't make it purple. I just had to double check it and it was NCT 127 with Cherry Bomb. I thought it was just disgusting and I don't like the color purple at all. Don't make things crazily stupid when they don't have to be done crazily stupid. Keep it simple. Sometimes much better. 
I love the colors just. They're so rich and vibrant. Personally, there I would have not reused that shot. I mean, they did this already once and I don't understand why you would do it again. Like, what's the purpose of it? I would have maybe done it a different way or something more creative, but not twice with bouncing a ball. It's not very much the best way, in my opinion. It, it's not the most creative, if I can say it, just to repeat it. Because to me, it just looks like two videos that have repeated each other twice in a video. Just of a different type of explosion. I like it. This is good. Guys, you can see by the smile of my face, I am really just happy with this video. This is some video which I think is just so fun. You can really see they put effort into this video and try to make it as fun as possible. I don't think a video has to be super complex or it has to have a budget that is growing completely out of the mind from a normal person. But what is important when you work on these videos is that you're just creative and try to find different boundaries and what you can expect. And I will be honest, I think this is one of my favorite videos from EXO. It is just fun, it's playsome, I want to look at this video again, analyze it, play around with it. It's a very playsome video and I think this is also why a lot of you guys recommended it to me because it is a little bit different from just the ordinary K-pop video. It's not just a dance routine, a little bit of beauty shots, dance routine, beauty shots. There's all these different elements where you just want to look around and say, am I missing something? Is there something that I really need to still see again? I really like that about this video and I think this is just fantastic. I think this is how a fun video would be. Now, if I have to give this video a rating, I will give this video a solid 10 out of 10. And the main reason to why I give it a 10 out of 10 is because it is a really fun and playful video. It's not just, a, like I said, a normal video just stuck together and there we go. It is just really playsome and I like that. It's just so intriguing to watch. You have the different colors, the different aspects, the different edits and everything. It's just a fun video. And even though it's a short video of under four minutes, it just seems like I was watching a movie with all these different elements, pausing it here and there to see if I'm picking up anything. And this is also something that I heard from you guys that EXO likes to have these kind of little hints here and there that are based for their videos. So yeah, guys, did you enjoy my review on EXO? Do you agree with me? Put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your comments as well to see if I missed anything. What do you think of EXO with Coco Bob? And like I said previously, if you want me to review any type of music video, K-pop, from your country, from any type of song artist, name it. I want to look at your recommendations. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe to support the channel. And of course, if you have any suggestions, again, just put it in the comments below. I would love to see what you have to say. And I'll see you on the next review. Catch you then.